everyone. I hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm here with a new science video for you guys. In this video, I'm going to be explaining the science behind how a maglev works. So maglev is short for magnetic levitation device. It is used in trains, mostly in Eastern Asia, which is in places such as China and Japan. Maglev works by using superconducting magnets to levitate a train in, in the air. Now, when the train moves forward, there is no friction whatsoever, and so the train can achieve extremely high speeds. It uses alternating magnets on the side to propel the train forward. Due to the electromagnetic force, whenever two charges of the same polarity are near each other, they will repel, whereas opposite charges will attract. Now, mag uh, maglev uses this so that it has a, let's say, a north polarity electromagnet beneath the train, and the train's bottom is also a north polarity electromagnet. It's held in place by magnets on the side, and it hovers in, in the air. Whenever an object moves with maglev, it can move extremely fast as the only thing holding it down is air resistance. This is an example of a superconductor as you can see here. Superconductors have to be kept extremely cool because a room temperature superconductor that can be used without extremely high pressure has not yet been discovered. They are the fastest trains in the world by a huge margin, and this is because of the fact they encounter zero friction while in motion. Now, however fast the electromagnets that propel them can switch polarities, that's how fast the train can move. The only other thing slowing them down is air resistance. In an attempt to eliminate this problem, American engineers are attempting to create something called a hyperloop, which is a long, extremely low pressure tube. Due to the near vacuum inside the tube, there will be almost no air resistance, so trains can go even faster than they are before. There are many magnetic coils built in the side of the track, and these can increase and decrease in power from one side to the other to move the train and navigate it. Because a train that can only go forward isn't very useful. Underneath the train, light poles will push the train upward. And on the side, as you can see in the diagram I have here, now if there's a north pole superconducting magnet in the front, the magnet in front of it will be a south pole to attract it forward. And the magnet on the side directly behind it will be another north pole magnet to once again, push it forward. Now, however fast these can switch in polarity, that's how fast the train can go. The reason that superconductors are used is because past a critical temperature, the electrical resistance drops to zero. And by zero, I mean, it, if you were to put a single charge inside a superconducting wire, it could go on for eternity without losing any energy whatsoever. The box containing the superconductor also needs to be cool to, to prevent background heat from the electricity messing with the magnetism. Liquid nitrogen is usually used for this task. The magnets beneath the maglev hold it up and the ones to the side propel it. There are, there are sensors on the side of the track that sense the position of the train's magnets and then switch their polarity so that the train is always repelled from behind and attracted from the front. The coils on the side are in figure eight shaped coils and are connected from below. And they are like this, so that they can be easily manipulated to move the train. An example, several examples of the maglev trains actually exist and people can ride on them right now. The Shanghai maglev train is a huge system that many people use today. It's an extremely high speed train and has a commercial speed of 268 miles an hour. The world's fastest train is the L0 series maglev in Japan and, with a top, and it has a top speed of 375 miles per hour. The TGV POS is also close behind with a top speed of 357 miles per hour and this is an experimental train created by the French. The average commercial train is one sixth of, the, of, an, of a maglev speed and goes around 60 to 75 miles an hour. The technology behind maglev can also be used to make a magnetic quadcopter, which is a futuristic technology and a topic for another video. The only reason that maglev has not already replaced every train in the world is because of its hefty price tag. The Shanghai maglev alone cost it $1.2 billion to make. In the future, it may be used more often as people can make it for cheaper as it is extremely eco-friendly and energy efficient. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wish to see this topic in greater detail, please comment and I will make a detailed one. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.